Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Who is Scooby-Doo for Halloween? Hey, Tess. Oh, shit. And we got Patrick as Shabby? Shabby. Shaggy, Shaggy. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyways. Shaggy. Anyways. I officially moved out of the apartment last and time I vlogged. us. Surprise! Yeah, that's where I'm actually <laughs> moving to. Um, shocker. Yep. Yeah. And who's really surprised? Anyways, I'm here for the next three, maybe five days. And more to come there. But uh -huh. we are going to the park with you. And everyone's coming over for a little Halloween celebration tonight. So, trick or exciting. treat. Trick or treating. <laughs> I'm suburban mother. Hey, baby. That's what I dressed up as. Suburban soccer mom. <laughs> Good job. Hey, just a modern day Halloween. We'd usually be a drunk off our asses at the bar well, right now. Would. Look at us. At Look at bar. us. Look at us. <laughs> 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 Happy Halloween! Good morning! Surprise! I'm still in New York. So, happy November 3rd. Um, the last couple days have been wild. I believe the last thing I filmed was Halloween and I was at Tess and Pat's and I'm still here. So basically, um, my movers picked up my stuff, as you guys all saw, and since it's a long distance move, they gave me like a really wide window of delivery. Um, and I've been calling and working with them and, you know, asking if like I have an updated date. And basically, it's not going to be arriving in the next couple days. So I decided to join my friends and go to the 1975 concert in uh, Connecticut at Mohegan Sun. So I'm just like so excited because they've been planning this for weeks and I was always on the fence because of my move and it just worked out. So we're going to Connecticut today and we're going to see the 1975. Today is the opening night of their tour. I don't think you guys understand the amount of excitement I have. I also lost one nail. But anyways, we are going to leave Tess's very shortly. I met Tessa and Pat's LOL. Such a cute little room. And um, yeah, we're going to leave. Tess and I go to Julia's. Louie is picking up a rental car. So by the way, the group is Louie, myself, Kara, Tess, Julia, and her boyfriend, Shaddy. Um, so we're so excited. Oh my God. But he's going to go, Louie's going to go pick up a rental car and we're going to all drive up there. So I'm going to vlog throughout the day. I won't be able to vlog at the concert, obviously. Let's go. I'm so excited. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. We also have a beautiful view. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> hey, Care. Hey, it's the carry cam. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a lot to do and a little bit of time to do it. Here we are. Ready for the 975? Come on. Ooh. We'd like to say a formal thank you. Yes. Wait. So I I did a, uh, some work for Mohegan Sun Moyan today, and they very kindly were like, "Yo, yeah, we can we can hook you up. Like, come stay, come enjoy the show." So thank you. Thank you so much, Kristen Mohegan. We're having the best time. This is thank the you. best. This is a dream come true, truly. And, and I was like, easy from New York, all quick okay. drive. <laughs> oh no! No! Uh -oh. No! 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 no. <laughs> okay. We should do that in the bathtub. The Down it. Oh, we could. All right. Anyways, thanks so much for this. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> you know, just like the 1975 said, we're at our Not very best. Bread, so. if anybody would prefer that, or we have. Cheers. Oh, I see. They are Cheers. Cheers. Like, that yeah, that's what I need. Cheers. Oh, Cheers. 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 Period. To the eh. Period. Eh. Okay. To the 1975 and to my last night ever. Oh.
with my friends. I'm gonna die and cry. Oh, cheers, Shadi. I don't know what it is. Look at the twins in the same pants. There's a tote bag, sheep, baristas, hey. No, I'm not Sakistas. Okay. We. <laughs> okay, now it's ready. Kara. What is this little outfit number? I've never seen you in such a concoction. <gasps> okay, we are, it's giving 70s vibey queen. No. No? It's amazing. Oh my God. Fun, Ooh, like so 90s cute. little cool girl. Grungy, I, punk, <laughs> hot no. skater boy. Thanks. Skater um, boy. High school sweethearts. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Like Beverly Hills 90210. Yeah, no, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I've never seen that. What? Okay. Yeah, I was just got changed in like two seconds. Yeah. That's really impressive. And you Thanks. all look extraordinary. Thanks. Well it's when we put our mind to it, anything is possible. All right, we gotta go. I'm gonna leave you here because I can't take I can't take you into the concert. Yeah. Gotta go. Bye. Another one. <laughs> Last day here, rock on. Rock on. <laughs> hey, Ju. Good application on the wristbands. I go, how's your shiny? Is there really shiny? Story of my life. I'm gonna get that ticket later. Thank you. Know, you. I, know. <laughs> I don't think I need it. Right oh, yeah. Enough about me now. You gotta talk about people. Is it designer? Is it on fire? Am I a liar? Oh, will this help me lay down? Post show. Post show. <laughs> it was. Uh... I like the set. <laughs> no, the set was really nice. No, it also, was really wait, nice. Can I just say? She's not. So I joke because, listen, I enjoy the 1975. They're, they're great. But I am not as much of an avid fan as X, Y, and Z. I said, wait, I'm not done. She's not done. The I'm point. saying X, Y, and Z. Oh, oh. X, Y, and Z. <laughs> I said, yeah. Yeah. maybe they'd play chocolate. <laughs> and guess what? That was the they joke. They played chocolate. I That's it, you might. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have thoughts that cannot compute. I have a lot of oxygen in my brain right now. So I will tell you my thoughts when I'm yeah, coherent. Hey, it was I'm insane. Go, it was yeah. like unbelievable. The first thing I said was what is happening? Like literally that's like what it was. What is happening? Okay, what's your reaction? First thing, what'd you think? Uh, incredible. It was yeah. like a th fucking theater. Sorry. It was a theater. I said that. I have a text to my father and I said this is a whole play. Okay. Can, I, can, I, can I say? Yes. It, was, it started like a play and became like a French New Wave cinema yeah. film. It was amazing. That is a phrase somebody told me like two days ago. So no, I'm obsessed. I'm creating this like illusion that I don't know what I'm talking about. But, like even, okay, can I just say? The way they were filming the screens, you know you go to a show, they have like screens, right? At a festival, there's just screens. They had people shooting it in a particular way that made it look, sorry this is boring, mm -mm. like made it look like this particular style that was just, I think, stunning and so intense. It reminded me of a Stop Making Sense by Talking Heads film. There we go. Right? Jeez. Do you feel that? Carrie said it. Carrie said it. Do you feel that with me? Entirely. Um, Alright, you liked it? Great. I'm fucking fantastic. They're the best band in the world. Come on. Love you. They're artists. They're doing something more. I know. They're doing something more. I okay, know. Okay. That's Ace. Hello. Hello, Shadi. What do you think? 
it was really, really enjoyable. I loved the stage set. Yep. I thought it was like watching a Broadway show yep. or like a theater play for sure. Mm -hmm. um, it gave me like Matt Haley like was Barbie in like his Ooh. own little Barbie house. All right, I get that. I like that. Like, but with a little bit of an edge, maybe a little bit of a David Burns influence to it. Yep, that's what I just said. I got that vibe. Um, God, I love it. All right. Yeah. It was such a great show. I thought it was really enjoyable. All right, thanks for everyone's like interactions. And we look like this because we came out to and, the room and blow dried our hair dry. And we saw it first. Sweaty. Guys, we saw, we saw it first. very first and my hair was wet after, so I just, I. I really we refreshed. Refresh. We really had to refresh. Love like, that for us. Like See you later. We're going to the casino. Bye bye. Also, stress, stress nails. It's been such a day. So it has been a long day and apologies for the echo because I have no furniture, so it's like super echoey. Um, but it's currently 5.20, those are two different. It's currently 5.28 and I am in my new apartment. It has been such a long day. I literally have been up for 12 hours now. I got up at like actually like 4.40, 4.30 this morning. My flight was like 7.50 this morning. So I got up really early at Tess and Pat's and I went to the airport and um, got onto a flight. Everything was great. My flight was actually, <laughs> my flight was actually a little problematic. It was like super turbulent, like the worst flight I've ever been on, but I digress. And I made it to Minneapolis and I got an Uber to my apartment. And I came to my apartment and I got my keys. Sorry, that's my ice maker. <laughs> then I got the keys to my apartment and I got the keys to my car, um, which I haven't talked to you guys about. But yeah, I got a car. I bought a car um, and I, well, I'm leasing a car, but I posted about that a couple weeks ago on my Instagram and I was like, this is my big girl purchase. Um, and that was a brand new car and it's been a massive deal for me. I mean, I literally drove in high school and then I moved to New York when I was 20 and I have not had a car for the last almost 10 years. So that whole thing was like crazy to me. And then my parents drove it up here like a week ago Anyways, so I got my car and I saw it for the first time. It's amazing. Um, and my parents had like a whole bunch of stuff they put in it for me, like an air mattress I'll show you. And um, just a whole bunch of other like little things I kind of needed immediately. So I unpacked that. I pretty much turned right around and I went to the grocery store and I got a ton of stuff. Not even close to like what I'll need, but I got, again, like the essentials. Um, I don't have my furniture and my cooking stuff until probably Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So I got a lot of stuff I can really make with just like my, my parents literally sent me like a pan, like a little eight inch pan and then like a saucepan. So I have enough stuff to like make little meals like that. And then from the grocery store, I went to Target and if anyone knows anything about Minneapolis and Target, then you know that this is where Target is headquartered. So the best of the best Targets are here. And I went to a super Target and I, it was the most religious experience I've ever had. Um, so I did that and I got a whole bunch of other little things. Obviously I'm rambling. I'm gonna shut up now and I'm just gonna show you the apartment. And I didn't think I was gonna do this because I kind of wanted to do it more furnished, but I'm gonna give you like an empty apartment tour. So, let's go. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm nervous. I hope you like it, I love it. 
Oh my god, okay, so starting here, here is the front door, garbage boxes. This is literally what my parents had like put stuff in that was in my car. Here is the kitchen. I have never had a kitchen this large. I'm not gonna lie. Like a lot of this is really shocking to me because what I'm about to show you, I've never experienced in my adult life. Um, so yeah, this is my kitchen. I have a massive island. Um, this is like one of the things I really wanted when I was looking for an apartment because counter space in New York is non-existent. So this was really, really exciting and like something I definitely wanted to have. Um, I have a full-size stove and a microwave. I hate the cabinet handles. I will be changing them at some point. Um, but <laughs> I have a dishwasher. Like, I'm, what? Pinch me, please, because it's just, I'm, I've never had things like this before. This is just like such a big deal. I like, I'm not being dramatic. It's, it's really cool. Then moving on, we have the fridge, another massive, huge, full-size fridge that like I've never experienced. So that is the kitchen. I can't wait to like furnish this and like make it really cute. Um, then off of here is the living room. Oh my God. It's very blue right now because it's like literally about to be dark out, but this is gonna be a mystery on what I do with this. There's so many options because it's so like large. I really have a lot of um, ideas of how I want like my couch and my TV console and my TV and how that's all gonna get laid out. So more to come there, but this is the living room. And then out here is the patio. I can't believe I have a patio. I'm just, it's too much. Okay, so then off of here, this is my bedroom. I'm gonna do that second, I think. So then going over here, I have a utility closet. Huge. Says who? Not me. Like what? <laughs> I, I just, what space? This is what you get when you go back to the Midwest, folks. Um, so there's that. That'll be a coat closet with like cleaning stuff, all that good stuff. Then this is the front door again, and we have the bathroom. And I am obsessed with my bathroom. I, oh, I'm so excited. Woo! It's so big. I, it's so big. So we have a linen closet here. I will probably do towels, honestly, like sheets and stuff as well. And then we have obviously all of the drawers underneath the sink here. Massive mirror, obsessed with that. And then we have, a washer and dryer. Again, a pinch me moment. This is just, if you've lived in New York for any period of time, you understand how big of a deal this is. Um, and I never experienced it in New York, so this is just like very cool for me. So washer and dryer, very excited. Um, shower, toilet, all of that good stuff. Here is another little linen closet and I'm currently putting my laundry stuff in there and then I'll probably do like toilet paper or storage in there. So that's cute. And then you come through here and it is a walk through my closet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm losing my mind. Um, it's my closet and then into my bedroom, so that's one second. So this, let me turn the closet light on. I don't know what else to say. It's the biggest closet I've ever had, and I just, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me. Through here, we just take a little walk, and then we have these really cute little double doors, which I just, when I was shown this apartment, I thought this was the, cute, the cutest little like detail, like these French doors. I just, I don't know why I love it. So into here is my bedroom. We love an air mattress. This is what I have until my stuff arrives next week. So um, I ordered this on Amazon. Honestly, I'm really excited to try it out. It was $80, it's a queen, and it's 22 inches tall. So I don't know if you can tell, like it looks like a regular bed. Like it is the tallest air mattress I've ever seen. Um, so I'm really interested to see how it works because I thought, you know, for the price point, it was it was a good deal. So, and that's it, that's the whole shebang. And then from my room, we come back out into the living room. So that is a very early empty apartment tour for you all. Um, it's, there's not many things I can say without sounding like either I'm bragging or just like super cliche, but I'm just so happy and like really proud of myself. This is an apartment I like never thought I would have in my, you know, 
late 20s, early 30s, um, just because for a while I didn't know a life outside of New York. So um, this was never something I had in my plan in New York, that's for sure. Um, so it's just like so crazy. I'm so happy and I know how blessed I am and I'm just really proud of myself for like, you know, making this decision and, and finding this apartment and you know, I want to say a quick shout out to my sister because she came a couple months ago with me um, and helped me look at a whole bunch of apartments and she was so helpful and also a big shout out to Tess's mom because she is the one who actually told me about this apartment complex and I'm not joking, without her I would have never found it. So, um, love you Deanna, thanks so much. And yeah, I just, I'm really excited. I. I can't wait to furnish this place and like make this place a home and create content here and just do all of the things. So this was probably the longest like 75 minutes um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make some food. I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I'm starving. Yeah, I'm so happy. Love you, bye.